Hey guys, it's the girl Amira and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you've read the description or read the title of today's video, then you already know what we're going to get into today. Today I want to do a DIY of the Lisa Says Ga cow print pants. Now I've seen these pants all over Instagram, all over Pinterest, and I just thought, why not just do a DIY thrifting version of it? Uh, so today I have my black jeans I threw it from the Salvation Army. Now I know the original ones are uh, white jean with like the actual like black cow print on it, like a real cow, but why not just do a reverse cow print? You know, I think that would be fun today. Um, so I got these pants and I got all the materials that I need to do or at least attempt to this DIY. Um, so yeah, with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so before we begin, let's get into materials that you need in order to do this DIY and what I bought. So the first things first is our fabric paint. I got this from Joann's and it's in their glacier white color. Next, I got a set of brushes. I really like this one because it comes with different, different sizes. Um, did I say different twice? Uh, quarantine is getting to me, um, but there's different sizes. Uh, so that's why I really like this one to pick this one up. Next, we have a fabric pencil. Um, basically, it's gonna help me do the outline of the cow print before I go in with the paint, just to make sure I actually really like the design that I came up with. Next, you're gonna need some jeans, of course. I got these from the Salvation Army for $8, but of course you can save some coin if you already have and maybe an old pair of jeans laying around that you'd you know, wanna DIY or spruce up. And lastly, I have a tarp. So I am a renter and I am a bit clumsy sometimes, so I got a tarp um, just in case uh, I didn't want to get paint on the carpet. So if you already have some maybe paper bags laying around that you can use, or an Ikea bag maybe that you're not using, then feel free to skip this item. Um, but I just thought it would be helpful. And then the last thing I have is just some uh, old cardboard. So the cardboard um, is to be used in between the layers when I paint. And I'll show you what I use it for when we get into it. Okay, so I have everything set up. Uh, so. The, I, since I'm using my phone to film, I don't really have the inspiration in front of me, so I'm just gonna wing it. Um, so yeah, first I'm gonna do the outline with the fabric pencil I was talking about. So let's just do that right now. overthink it <laughs> but I am a classic overthinker so no <laughs> oh well um one thing that I will say is that I know traditionally like like uh, cow print is more like almost like a lava lamp kind of feel but I'm trying to go for more like harder lines um so I feel as if that's what makes at least it says god paints a little bit more unique they're not like the traditional cow print we all know where it's like the lava lamp or you like globular it's more like it's globular but more like splotches almost i don't know how to describe it um i will put a picture of you know uh for ins or what the inspiration i actually am going for but yeah i'm just trying to do a little bit something okay so now i'm on the other leg and i feel as if i'm doing a lot better on this one um something that i feel like i did on this one that i kind of like just happened to do. It's like more of a cow print, but more like with a harder edge to it. And I feel like it's kind of looking like a little bit like flames, but it's kind of cool. So I'm just gonna finish this up and then we'll be ready to paint, ready to paint. Okay, 
Now the easy part. Now I do my outline, now I can just not even have to think about it, but just paint it in. because it's just gonna be me painting and I'll add some like sped up bits but it probably will be quite boring to watch maybe uh, I don't know please don't click away <laughs> uh, but yeah so I am really happy with how it's turning out so far please like, hopefully you understand what I'm talking about where it's kind of like a blob but like more angular I feel like that this is like a more modern like cow print pattern so I really like it all right guys, so this is what I have so far on the first leg. I think it looks pretty good so far. I've only done one coat and as you can see, um, or maybe you can't see, but you can, it's not as like opaque as I want it to be. So I'm definitely gonna have to do another coat. Um, but I'm just gonna finish doing this leg in the next leg. And I think tomorrow, once it's all dry, is I'm gonna get a uh, paint pen to outline the cow print so it's more defined and looks a little bit more clean because right now it's looking a, looking a little rough uh, but so far i really do like it how it's coming out um so yeah so i'm just gonna continue doing this leg and then move on to the next one So I start applying, uh, started applying the second coat. Um, as you can see, this leg has already been done with the second coat, and you can kind of already tell the difference on the second leg. As in, like this one is only one layer, and this one is like two layers, so it's a bit more opaque. So I'm gonna finish up doing that for the rest of the pants. All right. <laughs> So I finished the front uh, part of the jeans. This took a lot longer than I expected, but I think it turned out really, really good. I actually wind up doing three coats as opposed to just two, because I really wanted the white to pop against the black jeans. So now I think I'm gonna go in with a um, fabric marker just to kind of clean up the edges. So as you can see here, it's a bit rough. It's not perfect and I really want it to be a really nice clean line. So I have this idea to use a fabric marker to kind of outline each of the blobs, but so we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so I'm testing it out and what I'm using is just um, this fabric marker I picked up at Joann's. I think it was like only $3 and I got black just so that when I'm outlining the blobs that it kind of blends in with the black jeans. And so I'm gonna kind of show you kind of like how clean it makes the blobs look. Now you don't have to do this, but I just am kind of perfectionist that way. So, uh, so this is a before. I'm gonna be working on this one just to give, give you a before what it looks like. Um, see some of the paint. I wasn't able to kind of make it as clean as I could. This is what it looks like before. And this is the after. So you can kind of see that with the marker, I was able to kind of give a more defined outline with the shape I really intended to do that I was not able really to accomplish with the paintbrush. So yeah, so I'm gonna keep doing that for the rest of the pants. All right, so I just finished doing the outline and I think it looks super good. I feel like it just makes it look a lot cleaner, a lot more brighter. I'm so excited! <laughs> okay, so now I just have to do the back. But it's gonna be worth it, it's gonna be worth it, it's gonna be worth it, it's gotta keep telling myself. But yeah, I'm super happy it's how it's turning out so far. Guys, 
Guys, look. I think I popped it off. This is amazing. This is my first time trying the one, so I just put on a black shirt and my uh, white kitten heels, and I really, really love the pants so much. I haven't washed them, so they're a bit like, you know, but <laughs> I really, really love them, and I just can't wait to style them some more, so I'm gonna put in some more different outfits and how I'm gonna wear them in fall and winter, but oh my God, I really, I really like it. I know this isn't really like the Lisa Says Ga like cow print pan, this is more like a reverse cow print, um, but I think that was what really makes it really, really unique, and I really love how it turned out. Just the front and the back. I really love how I was able to connect the different patterns to the different sides, so it's kind of like one whole piece. It doesn't look like it's just like the front and the back are disconnected. But I really love how it turned out, so yay. My first DIY fit flip for the channel, super excited. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try on some different outfits and style them up. So I decided to keep the same shirt, but I changed my shoes into my leather Converse. I'm a Converse girl. Uh, and then I have this like sort of like brownish, like cardigan to go over it. So it's a little bit more cozy, a little more casual. So I really love this outfit. And of course the pants are still the statement. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited about these. Like, ah, oh, she's a vibe. It's fall, it's a fall vibe. Hold on. Now it's a fall vibe. Yeah, super, super in love with these pants. And I really like how I styled this up. And then for my third piece, I put on this little cardigan because cardigans as tops are a thing. So I have this one I thrifted. I put on a thrifted belt that I have just because these pants are a bit big. Um, they're Zara pants, but with the belt, I really think it really highlights, especially this one with the gold, oh, with the gold, wow. Uh, the silver and the black. <laughs> I think it looks really well. And I just put on some black thrifted sandals that I have. And that's the look. So I definitely recommend that you guys do this DIY. It did take me three days just because I do work full time. Uh, I had to do like three different coats and outlining and then also touching up the edges, but I really think they were worth it. Um, if you do have the money, maybe you should just buy the pants because if you don't have three days to paint pants, then you can just buy them. Um, but if you want to have something that's totally unique and your own, then definitely go for it. Um, like I said, I'll put description in the description box all the things that I bought or the materials that I used. Um, so yeah, so thank you guys so much for tuning in today for my first DIY for Flip for Meerkat95. Hope you guys have a great day. See you in the next one next Thursday. Bye.